join me from Little Darlings, but I'm also launching some brand new incredible markers. And you say, oh girl, I've seen markers forever. No, 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 you've never seen anything like it. And what makes the show really cool is number one, we slow down, which is always lovely. Number two, we craft at the same time and we sit and really work on projects and you get a really much closer, harder look at things. And number three, you're a huge part of it. We read comments, we have a lot of fun, people are hilarious when they join me, and we just have a really unique format that we do not do on the air. So an hour from now, you wanna go to HSN's Facebook page, you're gonna click on that, that picture you just saw and join the fun and please come join me and comment. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Okay, so. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why in the world is Suzanne wearing a trucker's cap tonight? It's because I can. And it's because I made something with it and I used this brand new launch from Cricut. Okay, Housewives of Beaver Island. Beaver Island is one of my favorite places on earth. Yes, it's a real place. So I decided this is what I was gonna create and I used my Cricut iron-ons to be able to do it. But here's the frustration in the past. This is one of the hottest things to do. Take baseball caps, caps of all these different types and sizes and be able to do iron-ons on them or to do um, your infusion usable inks on them, right? Well, the problem is it's hard to work with because they've got the curve. Well, the solution is Cricut. They have done it and we are launching it here in my show tonight and I couldn't be more excited. What's really neat is you're gonna get your cap base. This thing is weighted and it's really super cool and Anna's gonna show you in just one second how it works, but I loved it because now you put your cap on it and you can really work on it comfortably. All right, that's the first part. The second part is this. They have created a new a press, basically a heat press that is now curved so it works beautifully with the curve of the hat or the cap you're working on. You get the base to go along with it, you're gonna get your heat resistant tape and you can use any of your iron-ons, you can use your infusible inks and I used and you can use any of your iron-on vinyls to be able to create whatever you want on the caps that you have. Now just so you know, we do have extra caps available and we'll pop that information up for you if you wanna get multiples. We have in three packs and we also have them in 12 packs so here we go five flex pay and a brand new launch and anna griffin who we absolutely adore a rock star in the world of stationery and crafting and so much more joins us with this brand new item hello anna hi suzanne it's been so much fun seeing you um, wearing that hat. I know you, you teased this last night when we were on at 1 a.m. together. Uh, well, today, it was, it was still today. But I just wanna say it's, it's finally here, right? The very, very newest, latest, greatest product from the crafting tool innovator of the, of, the, of the entire universe, and that is Cricut. I tip my hat to them for our brand new hat press. And let me tell you, it is so much fun. We've been working with it just like you, Suzanne, right here in the studio. Um, I just posted on my Facebook page the, uh, me wearing this hat uh, just to kick us off in the right direction. Now, what's so neat about the hat press from Cricut is one, you, you'll notice that it's very small and it has, you know, it, it has an ergonomic handle for you to actually use that same curved ceramic surface that you are used to with the easy press. We had the Easy Press 3 on earlier today. It has a docking station just like all of the heat tools from Cricut. Now, what's so nice about this is that uh, what we know about is our mat uh, with the Easy Press. Now we have a traditional hat mold. Now, this is so neat because, you know, I think you could use it if you were doing curling um, <laughs> on an ice rink or a doorstop. It is that <laughs> wonderful. It is weighted. And then the, you're also getting the um, heat transfer tape. This is going to hold your uh, cuts in place no matter what you're going to transfer your cut from you know any of the Cricut family of products, your, your beautiful cuts on the heat transfer vinyl, iron on, all those things. So here's where we're going to start and I'm just going to I'm going to show you this up close. Now what we want to do is make sure that you download the Cricut heat app. Brand new app in the App Store uh, or the Google Play Store, wherever you get your apps on whatever smartphone, tablet, or computer that you own. Now, it's called Cricut Heat, and what's so amazing, it says start new project, but I can actually choose from, I'm going to go back, I can choose from all the new, the EP3, uh, 
with the 9x9, the 10x12, or the brand new heat press. So I'm going to connect this to my heat press over Bluetooth, which is amazing. I'm going to say start a new project, and then I'm going to choose the material that I'm going to transfer, and we're using a metallic iron-on. Now we're going to tell it we're going to put it on a baseball cap that is cotton and poly blend. And we're going to, this is where it gets really exciting, everybody. Uh, ready? It's going, you just say next. And it says every day cotton. It says send these settings to the hat press. And it's going to, it's going to give us a darn video. And you hear it, it beeped for me, right? It's heating up to 324, 25 degrees. I did preheat this just so for the sake of time on television. It's telling me that to warm up the surface for five seconds in light pressure. Now I'm going to put this down and show you what we're going to do with our Cricut uh, baseball cap. And this is what's so neat about the press and the mold. So the hat fits right over the, that and we're going to make it, tighten it around the, the mold itself. And then we're going to take, all right, I have everything taped in place so that I can use my brand new heat press. And watch this, we're going to um, make sure that we're following the ridge of the bill of the hat and we're going to do light pressure and light strokes. And this is going to apply that iron on perfectly. That's what's so incredible, Suzanne, about the new Cricut um, Heat app is that it's walking me through everything that I need it to do. And you know, the one thing that I didn't do because it's going to stop. I did. You do have to press go, and then it tells you. It said told me to preheat the blank, apply the light pressure. Now it's beeping at me, and for 60 seconds, it's going to walk me through doing exactly what it wants me to do. So we're just we're giving it just this gliding motion, a little like ironing, but we're really pressing that incredible design into the hat itself. Now, 48 seconds later, we actually will have a beautiful reveal of, of this cap. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to undo everything. This is such a fun thing. And when we're talking about being able to do things that we've never been able to do before with such ease, right? We've never been able, this is kind of a little warm, but you get the idea. We have now a curved seamed piece of fabric. We've never been able to jump those seams with such ease and precision as until this heat press or the hat press. And then even look at uh, what's so neat is thinking about those fashion items oh, that you great. need to add your own personal flair to, you can do that with Cricut Hat Press. And you're just telling it that you're using felt, you know, this is a beautiful felt hat, I'm using traditional iron-on. And I'm gonna set up for another one, Suzanne. And why don't you tell us how you actually did your uh, the hat? hat that you're wearing tonight? Okay, well. I I have something for you because I have a tennis thing to show you next. Okay, so here's what I did. Now, I just want to show you what's really neat. And what happens with this, and I loved it, is lots of times we've been trying to do it in an old-fashioned way, it wasn't really smooth. But you can see what I like is this also has the weight, but you can kind of mold it to sort of sit exactly at the angle you want. So when you're working on it, you're not struggling at all with it. You're just working back and forth over it. So for my hat specifically, I used my Cricut Iron-On Vinyl. So here's what I did. I went to my regular design space and my Cricut machine. And I used my iron on vinyl. If we go in close, I did a series of black and then I did the lips in a sparkly. And so I did two passes. So I did Housewives of Beaver Island. That was my first pass with the vinyl. I ironed that on and then went back, covered it, and then ironed on the second piece right there. So I did a two-tone design. I found it to be really fun and really, really easy. And what's neat about on des in design space is they even give you, you just type in if you're gonna do a project, you you type in baseball cap and they give you the exact space that you should stay in to make sure the design's going to work. So it's almost goof proof. I loved it. Also remember you can use your inks. You can use your infusible inks. You can use also your infusible papers, which is really another neat way to be able to do it. So if you have all that infusible stuff, this is going to work back to that as well. And then like I did, I was just using my iron on vinyls from Cricut to produce my hat. Now just FYI, 
we do have a couple different hats. We have the trucker hat in a 12 pack and a three pack. We also have the um, ball cap in blanks in a 12 pack and also a three pack of the ball cap. So if you want a traditional ball cap, we've got it. We also have the trucker cap in that as well. And Anna, did you want to show one more thing real quick? I do. I, one of the things that I did, neglected to show you, which is really neat about the hat press, is that it tells you to pull down this, this part of the, it's, it's a sweat band inside the hat. I'm showing you the white one. You pull this down before you put it on the, the mold so that you can get up close and personal with your hat press right there up against the design. And the, the form is going to work perfectly for you. And then when you actually take it off that form, the sweatband goes right back in and you have a professional result every single time. And if you're saying, okay, I'm going to make my, um, my favorite logo hat, I'm going to monogram my, friend, my friend's hat, I'm going to add something to my company for this weekend's retreat, or I'm going to say, all right, I want a flamingo hat once and for all. It's <laughs> all up to you because Cricut makes it so easy for us to be our creative best and our hat press, even with infusible ink, Suzanne, that's what you're seeing. You're able to do that with this wonderful little tool and you get that professional result every single time. And Anna, as you know, I'm a huge visor fan because I play a ton of tennis and I love the fact you can use visor on this so if you're making for the tennis team I think it's fun if you're gonna have like a, um, a bachelorette party or a bachelor party you can make hats for everybody there so Anna we love you thank you for being with us tonight I know you'll be up a little bit later at nine o'clock right